Hello, uh, welcome, uh, my friends of pottery. Now I will show you how I made my uh, ceramic kiln. Um, it's not for; it's only for not commercial use, and you do it at your own risk. Uh, well, uh, what we need uh, for making a ceramic kiln is uh, clay. I live uh, here in the Canary Islands, and I find there uh, near my house uh, some uh, volcanic uh, clay. Uh, this uh, clay uh, could be found um, at the bottom of these mountains. It's a uh, uh, bentonite clay. It's uh, very, very uh, uh, can take up very much water, and uh, it's uh, uh, shrinking. There, you see some clay washed out uh, from this volcanic ashes. It's um, some uh, bentonite, like a pyroclastic uh, form of clay. Then. Uh, you have to filter out some stones, uh, um, but this clay uh, should be uh, mixed with uh, about 40% of volcanic ashes, um, which cannot shrink. Uh, you can also use uh, uh, basaltic uh, black uh, sand, uh, but it could, uh, should be collected a little bit uh, beside from uh, from the sea because otherwise it uh, contains uh, some salt uh, but it doesn't matter and then you uh, need some barrel or pot to, to mix uh, uh, all up with the stir a very simple toy yeah, just made of uh, uh, two wooden pieces uh, which are fitted together and uh, there um, I put in the, the volcanic ashes and mix it up and I also use uh, some wood ash which contains uh, potassium carbonate and uh, makes uh, the mixture and some uh, sawdust uh, I also use some sawdust uh, uh, it burns out and uh, in these boxes I, I'm drying the, the mixture a little bit uh, so that it uh, does not contain too much uh, water, and you could the bottom. Uh, I see it's uh, made of plaster for drying it. And I thought um, this is uh, the lid of uh, the kiln, and um, I thought, why shouldn't I use my my pottery wheel uh, to to make uh, some things and uh, you know with. Uh, uh, Turning, uh, withdrawing on the pottery wheels, and uh, there you see uh, the uh, head of the ceramic kiln. In this uh, state, it, it it doesn't has uh, the hole for the chimney. It the hole is uh, made later, and uh, uh, this uh, is not exactly uh, centered, but uh, it, it doesn't. Uh, Matter, <coughs> and uh, it's a, li a little bit easier to work it out. And uh, I also decided to, uh, to make uh, the chimney uh, for the uh, for the kiln uh, with my foot pushed uh, self-made pottery wheel. And you see that I I cannot enter in the chimney with my hand, and so I use some self-made toy to. Uh, <coughs> to draw it um, higher, and, uh, well, this uh, kiln will be uh, supplied with uh, the removable uh, chimney, and it uh, will be a kiln which you can fire with uh, propane uh, gas bottles. You can fire it with uh, propane <laughs> or butane. You can use wood. You can use uh, petroleum, uh, and uh, it's a very versatile thing. You can make uh, reductions. You can make raku, and uh, you can even make uh, uh, salt uh, glassing uh, with this uh, kiln. And this kiln, uh, as I told you, is made uh, mainly out from uh, clay. The, the clay I find uh, near my house, and uh, uh, you see that uh, all the material 
I use is uh, recycled so that uh, this kiln is easy to make and it's quick to make and it's very cheap to make. Now I'm uh, propagating this wheel with my right foot and later I will burn this chimney. The chimney is not to be too high and you have to supply the chimney with uh, some lid or some thing that you can regulate uh, the outgoing gases and uh, the temperature will be uh, quite high and uh, you should be careful when you are burning uh, that you uh, don't uh, put your your hands or your head uh, near to uh, to the opening what you need is uh, some <coughs> As you see here, it's a 100 uh, liter oil barrel, and you have to cut it uh, the, the third, the upper third, and uh, there you have the two pieces, the lid and uh, the body of the uh, Raku kiln, which are made. And then you have to provide it uh, with some uh, grit, in form of iron red uh, that. Uh, is why the clay cannot fall down and uh, this is the opening uh, for the burner later the, the grid is removed and you can fit uh, this grid uh, using some iron wire and uh, so that it cannot fall down there see the two holes uh, one uh, little hole is just fitted and and the, the big hole will be the opening for the chimney and uh, the lid uh, has to overlap uh, because if it uh, don't overlaps, uh, you will lose uh, you will lose energy. You will uh, the temperature will be lower. So you have to uh, make this uh, overlapping uh, bending, and <coughs> you have to also to provide uh, the lid with the iron grid or the red because uh, all these parts which are now covered uh, with uh, the grid, the iron grid, will later be supplied with the clay. Well, I told you that the clay I use is uh, very high in ashes and uh, there you see that uh, the lid should not be uh, too heavy though I put uh, between the grid and uh, the iron some volcanic ashes which are uh, not light. There you see uh, just the first fine process uh, which is uh, just done uh, for cooking uh, uh, the kiln itself. There you see uh, some very simple wheat burner or some soldering burner. Um, it's uh, nothing else than a little nozzle and it's provided uh, also with a regulator at the, at the neck of the propane gas bottle then you can uh, regulate the temperature and there you see the, the steam is out coming from uh, the chimney. Be careful that uh, the very hot uh, gases uh, which are coming out of uh, the chimney. And, uh, <coughs> my first experiments were those that I uh, put uh, some, some blower, uh, some hand blower uh, it's a some of a blowing sack and uh, to put some oxygen into this uh, burning and uh, the temperature went so high that uh, uh, the tube of uh, this blower was from aluminium and it melted and later in the ashes I found some pieces of of clay uh, which uh, just uh, broke and uh, um, they were also were melted. I, I think that this temperature was uh, uh, higher than a thousand. Degrees. Then you have uh, the the tools for for making uh, the clay inside, and uh, there you see uh, the the Raku kiln uh, just uh, filled out with clay, and uh, you see that uh, the grit uh, disappeared, and uh, it is uh, the body of. Uh, uh, the kiln, the Raku kiln, uh, there on my pottery wheel, um, the 
later the the opening for the chimney has to be made um, uh, it's uh, much more complicated to make uh, the lid uh, than the body um, uh, uh, I also supply the lid uh, the head of the kiln with this removal chimney with uh, some uh, some bearing that you can easily lift off uh, the uh, the lid from but it's not necessary you can make reductions you can also make a, a raku reduction without opening your kiln uh, the only thing is that you uh, can put uh, reducing uh, materials materials like uh, like wood or, or straw inside the kiln to make the reduction uh, process. There you see the, the whole assembly is uh, just provided uh, with this uh, propane gas wheat burner, for example. You can also use a petroleum uh, nozzle burner, uh, which is easy to make and it's even cheaper. This uh, kiln uh, was made uh, uh, from recycled materials, uh, cost practically nothing, very cheap, very easy and, and works very good. I'm very content with uh, the results and when I burned it uh, the temperature inside was uh, much about 1000 degrees and I could easily touch uh, the outside wall uh, without burning my, my hand. And uh, you look inside it's totally uh, reduced. Uh, clay and, and there are some openings, little openings uh, from broken clay but it doesn't matter you can uh, before the next uh, burning you can fill it with uh, uh, clay and it doesn't matter and if you want to see more of products in uh, this kiln uh, go to my blog or visit uh, my homepage. Uh, thank you for for listening to me uh, goodbye